Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today I am going to show you guys how to install drivers for EasyCAD 2. Uh, it's very, very similar for EasyCAD 3 as well, uh, so you can follow this tutorial if you're on EasyCAD 3. Either way, we're gonna cover it. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how to remove drivers, so if you're using old or kind of crappy drivers, we'll show you how to get rid of them. It's usually best to start with a clean slate anyway. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right in and install some drivers for our laser. So here we are guys, uh, Windows 11, same thing on Windows 10, uh, virtually identical except for maybe the location of the start button, which is the first thing we're gonna click. And we're gonna go ahead and type in device manager and uh, pull that up. And here you've got a list of all of the different things that are connected to your PC. Um, we are looking for this one, BJJCZ device. Uh, this is your laser. And if this isn't showing up, uh, there's a few troubleshooting things that I could recommend you do. If you're using a USB extender, remove it, uh, at least while you're getting things set up. Uh, there's a really good USB extension cable. It's an active cable with a repeater in it. And I will link that down in the description for you if you really need to use an extender. But for now, get rid of it. Uh, same thing with USB hubs. If you're using like a multi-port USB hub, uh, just get rid of it while you're setting up your machine. Uh, I'll have links to one that works really well down in the description for that too. So uh, extenders and hubs, links in the description for ones that work great with EasyCAD. But um, those are just two of the things that I would try. Three, make sure your laser's on. This will not work if your laser is not on. Uh, the laser has to talk to the computer during the driver installation process. So make sure your laser is turned on. Um, four, swap out your USB cable. A lot of the time, the USB cables that come with these machines are not of the greatest quality. Uh, you can grab, it's just a USB-B cable, a USB type B cable. Nine times out of 10 is what these machines are using. Uh, they're very easy to grab online. Again, link down in the description, try swapping out your USB cable. If it's not any of those things and those troubleshooting steps didn't help you, time to reach out to the Discord uh, or Facebook group uh, to get some extra help because it can get a little sticky from there. It's gonna be like checking connections, making sure that the USB hub thing is talking to the EasyCAD controller and a bunch of other things. Um, or your EasyCAD controller board could just be shot and I've seen that once or twice. So start with those troubleshooting tips um, and hopefully you'll find the thing that's stopping your laser from showing up in the device manager and we can continue on. So back over here in the device manager, uh, we can see that our BJJCC device is showing up in the device manager as we would expect it to. And we wanna click this little arrow right here to drop that down and we can see LaserMark Control Board V2 USB. Um, now I already have drivers installed for this device. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how to remove drivers first, because you may have drivers installed already um, and you, you might wanna get rid of them and install some fresh ones. It can help with some problems actually. So um, when we do this, we just want to right click here and we wanna click uninstall device. And when we are asked uh, if we wanna remove the device driver, we wanna check that box. We wanna completely remove it from the system. That way when we install a fresh driver, uh, you know, we're, we're not using any remnants of old driver you know, files and, and things like that. So just check the box. Let's make sure we get that completely off of our computer and we're gonna click uninstall and it's gonna take a second and then the device manager will reload. Um, from there, we can see that it has been removed from the system, it's no longer in the list and we can tell the device manager to look for the laser again. So we can come to action and scan for hardware changes and that will research uh, all of the connections to see if there's any new devices. And uh, of course our laser will show up here. So if you're installing your laser drivers for the first time and there's nothing on your system, this is what you're gonna see. It's gonna be under other devices. On a rare occasion, I've seen it under USB devices, uh, but typically it's under other and we can see the USB LMC V2. That's our laser right there. So it's time to install our clean, fresh, brand new drivers. Let's go ahead and do that. 
So if you don't know where to look, these drivers can be a little bit difficult to find. Uh, usually they're packaged with your laser, but if you want a nice, clean, up-to-date copy, you can always come to lasereverything.net. This is our website. And uh, in the downloads page here, we've got uh, drivers for both EasyCAD 2 and EasyCAD 3. So here's the EasyCAD 3 64-bit driver. Uh, here's the EasyCAD 2 64-bit driver. And then we've got the EasyCAD 2 32-bit drivers. If for some weird reason you need to use 32-bit drivers, um, you should probably get a new computer. Uh, any, any modern computer should be using the 64-bit drivers. So if you're wondering if you need 32-bit or 64-bit, um, I would just start with the 64-bit, honestly. Um, Windows 11 is a 64-bit only operating system. I'm pretty sure there's still 32-bit versions of Windows 10, but uh, you should really be on 64-bit. So I, I would bet my money that you probably need 64-bit drivers. We'll go ahead and click that here. And uh, it's going to take us to a download page. We just get it in Drive here. It's just uh, my Google Drive account. And we'll click Download up here in the top right corner. And it'll go ahead and download that driver package for us. Once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and view it in the folder. Mine is in my Downloads folder. No problem. Um, just for simplicity, we're going to cut that and paste it to the desktop so it's nice and easy to find. And we can close all of this stuff. We don't need any of this anymore. Uh, we've still got Device Manager up over here. Uh, but here are the drivers right here in this little package, X64 AMD. That's our 64-bit driver for the LMC V2. That's our laser. So we'll right click. Um, if you're on Windows 11, you can just click Extract All. If you're on Windows 10, uh, your menu will look a little bit more like this. You can either extract all from the context menu, or you can download a piece of software like 7-Zip, which will extract these files for you. Um, but we'll just use the Windows one for now. So we'll hit Extract All and just hit OK. And here's what we need to look out for. Um, when we go to install these drivers, we're going to have to point Windows to the folder that have the driver files inside. Um, if you have your files inside a folder, inside a folder, Windows will not know what to look for. And I'll, I'll demo that for you actually. So we'll create a new folder here uh, and we'll just call this X64 AMD. And uh, we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it into this folder. So um, in this one on the left, we open it and the drivers are right inside. With this one over here, if we open it up, we can see we've got another folder inside and then that folder has the driver files in it. If we tell the device manager to look in this folder, it's not gonna know that there's another folder inside that it needs to look in. And that causes a lot of problems for a lot of people. So I just wanted to point that out. So uh, we're over here in the device manager. We're gonna right click on our laser and we're gonna click update driver. Uh, and from here, we want to browse my computer for drivers. Uh, Windows definitely not gonna find them on Windows Update, so don't bother searching automatically. We're gonna browse our computer, uh, and we're gonna click Browse again. And we're gonna scroll down here uh, to our desktop. Here it is, right there. And here we can see our two folders. So this one has the driver files directly inside. So if we clicked this folder, then it would likely work. But for a lot of people, if you click the top folder, uh, it's not going to look in here and install the drivers. Uh, that's It's just not going to work for some people. Uh, the other big one is people selecting folders that have zipped up or compressed folders inside of them. Um, you can't install drivers from a compressed folder. So uh, don't try to do that either. We just want this nice, clean, folder right here. As soon as we open it up, we've got all of the driver files inside. That's what we want to be pointing our update software to. So let's go ahead and click that and hit OK. And we'll hit next. And it's going to take a second to install the drivers and it'll say Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Uh, easy enough. We hit close. It reloads the uh, device list. And here we can see we're back again at the BJJCZ device uh, laser mark control board V2 USB. Perfect, done. Uh, to test this, we can close that. Our machine is still on. We'll go ahead and try to launch EasyCAD and it should come up uh, in just a moment here and uh, we shouldn't get any weird issues or, or anything like that. Um, so let's just give that one second. And there we go. EasyCAD comes right up. No errors, no warnings, uh, nothing like that. I've gone ahead and turned off my machine. Uh, if you try to launch EasyCAD, 
um, and we'll do that right now. And you see failed to open LMC driver or cannot find dog is another common error that it will throw um, or cannot find valid LMC device. Uh, check your laser, make sure your laser's on um, because if your laser's not on, it it's not gonna work. So um, even though we have the drivers installed, uh, we're gonna get that weird driver error. So just another thing that I wanted to point out. And that's it guys. That's how you install drivers for EasyCAD 2 and EasyCAD 3. Uh, just a quick one final note uh, on EasyCAD 3, the device is not the LMC device. It is the DLC device. So uh, just a little naming convention difference there, but you'll probably figure that out as you're going along. Um, and you're all set. Your drivers are installed and ready to start using your machine. So I just wanted to get this out there for you guys so that you could see how to install your drivers and what might trip you up along the way. If you got value out of this video, don't forget to subscribe, uh, smash the like button, let everybody else know that the content is good. If you love the channel and you love what we're doing over here at Laser Everything, go ahead and sign up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel, make sure we can keep producing this content for you guys. You get a bunch of bonus goodies like bonus live streams, uh, laser parameter libraries, and an awesome community you get to be a part of. If you get stuck uh, anywhere in this tutorial, feel free to jump into either the Discord or the Facebook group. Uh, we've got links to both of those down below. Amazing, amazing, amazing groups. So proud of the community. Uh, ready and willing to help you, even if you're brand new and you have no idea what you're doing. Uh, we've got your back and we will uh, help you get your laser set up. So join us over there if you need help uh, or if you just want to say hey. And with that, I think that's all I've got. So thank you so much for watching this episode and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.